Welcome back again to the channel. On this video, we're gonna discuss this interesting problem. So the question is that are there four points on the plane such that for every pair of these points, their distance is not integer. Let's say four points are like this. Okay. So the distance between any of two are all odd integers. This, 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 this. All of them are integers. Okay. So to answer this question, uh, suppose there are such of four points that satisfy the condition of the problem, then by doing some translation, we can assume that one of the point is the point of zero zero. Let's say this one. So we just if it is not, we just need to translate until it is uh, reaching the the origin. Right? Because the translation does not change the distance between any of these two points. So okay. Uh, so without loss of generality, the four points are the points are zero a b c, and we can consider them to be vectors, right? Okay. And the condition says that the distance between two, so let's say the distance between a b c and zero are this a b c. And the distance between two vectors, which none of them is zero, a minus b, a minus c, and b minus c. Okay. So assume there are four points, four vectors, zero, a, b, c, such that the distance, the length of the vector a, b, c, and all of these three vectors are all odd integers. Okay. So this problem is, uh, the solution is kind of surprising because we use some linear algebra in an unexpected way. So, in because of that, then I cannot make some kind of uh, intuitive argument why the solution is like that. So, let's just enjoy the solution. Okay. So now, if we consider uh, the length of x, y, minus y, x minus y squared for any two vectors x and y. This is the same thing as x minus y, the dot product, maybe I should just use the notation of dot product instead of the uh, inner product. So it is the dot product of x minus y and itself. Okay? The square of this is exactly this. And this one can be written as x dot x plus y dot y minus twice x dot y which is the length of x squared plus the length of y squared minus twice of x dot y okay. Now notice that by assumption all of these are odd integers so okay uh, if we have an odd integer, then it is of the form 4k plus or minus 1, right? As an odd integer, which is when we divide by 4, the remainder is either 1 or 3, or negative 1. So, okay, let's see what happens if we square an odd integer, right? So we have 16k squared plus minus 8k plus 1 and this one is divisible by 8 therefore all odd integers equivalent to 1 mod 8 mod 8 
Okay. okay. So now, if you look at star, star says that y of x dot y is equal to x squared plus y squared minus x minus y squared. Right? So now if we replace this x, y with any of this a, b, c, then we can see that this is without squaring, it's a non integer. The length of y is an odd integer, and the length of x minus y is an odd integer as well. So, therefore, this twice of x dot y is equivalent to 1 plus 1 minus 1, which is 1 mod a. Right? So, we know that. <coughs> twice a dot b is equal to 1 mod 8 and the same thing as well for a dot c and b dot c okay. <coughs> now let's look at the following matrix. So this matrix is <coughs> the entries obtained by taking the dot product with B which, uh, with A. This is a, a dot B B dot A B dot A B dot B B dot C and then C dot A, C dot B, C dot C. Okay. Now notice that, for example, uh, since A is a vector on a plane, then A has two components. A is, if we written A as uh, a column vector, it should be A1, A2, something like this. Right. So then A dot A translate into a1 squared plus a2 squared, right? So this thing can be written as C. We want to have a1, a1, right? This is a, this is a as well, right? Okay, and then a dot b gonna be b1. C2 and then a dot c is c1 c2 this is p1 p2 c1 c2 right so this a is a product of this matrix and that matrix and from linear algebra we know that if if we have a product of two matrix let's say x times y the rank of this matrix is less or equal to the minimum of the rank of x and the rank of y. Okay. Since A is a product of this matrix and that matrix, so the rank of A is less or equal to the minimum to the minimum of the rank of this and the rank of that. But since this matrix has only two columns, then the rank of this matrix is less or equal to 2. So therefore, we can say that, okay, maybe just for completeness, completeness let's say this is, is our x, this is x transpose. So rank of A is less than rank of x because of this inequality, right? But the rank of x, since it has only two columns, then its rank is less or equal to 2. Now, we're going to derive some contradiction by showing that, in fact, the rank of A is 3. Since the rank of A is 3, but here we have rank of A is less or equal to 2, so clearly there is a contradiction, which means that the original uh, statement, which is that there are four points satisfying the given condition on the problem, cannot be happened. Okay? 
So now, if we are able to show that the rank of A is indeed equal to 3, then we solve the problem in a negative, which means that there are no four points on the plane satisfying the conditions on the problem. Okay? So let's try to find a way to show that this matrix has rank 3, which is equivalent to saying that A has an inverse, or A is not singular. Okay? So, to do that, so consider V, which is twice of A. Okay? Twice of A. And remember, before, from this, we know that twice of the dot product between two different vectors is always 1 mod A. Okay? So then, the twice of A is equal to the matrix of, remember this is A dot B and B dot A are the same. So twice of that is equal to 1 mod A. So that's going to be 1. This is also 1. one, All 1 except on the diagonal. Okay? On the diagonal. So what happened now on the diagonal? On the diagonal we have twice of a dot a and twice b dot b twice c dot c but this one is twice of the length of a square previously we have shown that the length of a square all of them are 1 mod a so all the entries on the diagonal are equals to 2 so then this matrix B, if we reduce by mod A, this is equal to this in mod A, right? Okay. So now if we compute the determinant, maybe we just don't need to introduce a new name. So the determinant of twice A okay, is equal to what? <coughs> The determinant of twice of A is the same thing as, since this is matrix of size 3 by 3, it's the same thing as 2 cubed determinant of A. Right? Okay? So if you just compute directly, let's say you think by expansion, log plus expansion, 2 times 2, 1, 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, and then plus 1. 1, 2, 1, 2, which one? 1, 2, 1, 1. Okay. So if we compute this, 2 times 4 minus 1, 3, minus 2 minus 1, 1, 1 minus 2 minus 1, okay. which is 4. That here, this one. So if if the determinant of twice of a is uh, four mod eight, okay, maybe I just disregard this first. Okay. So therefore, the determinant of twice of a is something of the type eight k plus four, right? Because this is equal to 4 mod A. In particular, hence, the determinant of twice of A cannot be equal to 0 because a number of this form, 8k plus 4, is never equal to 0. So it is not equal to 0. Right? But if the determinant of twice of A is not equal to 0, then the determinant of A is not equal to 0 as well. So therefore, A is non-singular, and rank of A is 3. But this contradicts our 
earlier statement that rank of A is less or equal to 2. So there we go. We have a contradiction, which means that it is not possible to have four points such that the distance between any pair of them are always not integer. Okay. So thank you for watching. See you again on the next video.